Hey everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to talk a little bit more about regular expressions and some of the really cool things that we can do with regular expressions. In previous videos, I talked about the Regular Expressions 101 website and how you can use that. If you haven't had a chance to check out that video, I do recommend watching that one before you come to watch this one because you're going to need that information to help us out with the Regular Expressions crossword game. Just a quick overcap, we're going to use the regular expression box and the explanation box to assist us when we're working on our crossword puzzles. So keep that in mind while I open up the regular expressions crossword website. Just a little bit more, there we go. And this is designed to help solidify and strengthen a lot of the different regular expression patterns that are out there. So if you navigate to this regular expressions crossword website, I recommend starting out by going to this tutorial. So how this works is you're presented with a cross option, an X and a Y coordinate, and you need to determine what value is going to go into that cross section in order to validate and move forward. So if we look at the tutorial, it's telling us that we're looking at the OR or vertical pipe. Now in our X position, we have the value capital A or capital Z. And in our Y position, we have capital A or capital B. So what we're trying to validate in this cross section is what matches to make the exact same value work. For example, since both capital A is in the X position and the Y position, then the value I want to enter in here is a capital A. If I put in any other value, such as the capital Z and validate, it'll let me know that that is incorrect. But when I get one that's correct, it'll let me know I did well and it'll shuffle to the next puzzle. Each one of these in the tutorial is designed to refresh or remind you what all of these different patterns can do. So if we look at this particular one, it's talking about a range of characters. In our X position, we have the range of capital B, capital D, or capital F. In our Y, we have capital A, capital B, and capital C. So our cross section needs to have the same values in both. In this case, we're looking at capital letter B. So we can use that and validate and move forward. Now the trick is, as you go through all of these puzzles, they will increase in their difficulty level. So while in the beginning they might be very easy, they're going to progressively get harder and we're going to need some help. Let me go back out to the puzzles main menu and let's scroll down. Let's take a look at the Hamlet one. Now as you can see, these regular expressions and what they're asking for are getting a lot more complex and we're going to need some help. If I were to copy this pattern, and go back into my Regular Expressions 101 website and drop it right into my Regular Expressions box. I can now start to work with this to see what is and what is not going to be a match. Let me open this up wider. Because in that previous video I talked about how important it is to know what the explanation is and what it's really asking us for. In this particular case, it's giving us the indication that we need to make sure that we have a capital R or a capital A. This is our first condition. Our second condition is a capturing group because it's indicated in those parentheses and it's saying we can have either a capital A or a capital E. The next one is saying we need to match a single character present in the list of capital V and then it gives that backslash in the letter S, which is any white space character. Next, we have this backslash in one which says matches the same text as most recently matched by the first capturing group. And if our first capturing group was the parentheses where we had a capital A or a capital E, then this value needs to be exactly what we found in that first capturing group. We're just repeating it. Next, we need to match a single character present in the list below, and we're looking at capital N, capital G, where that plus sign is telling us that it matches the previous token between one and unlimited times, meaning it could be the letter N or the letter G, and we could have multiple matches of those. And then finally, that slash in the one is indicating again that we're going to repeat what we found in our first capturing group. So to begin with, we can have an R, Then we're going to have an A or an E. Then we're going to have a V or a space. Then we have to repeat whatever we found in that first capturing group, whether it was an A or an E, followed thereafter by the letters N or G, and we could have one or more of those, followed again by that last one, which is a repeating symbol or a repeating group of the first capturing group, so A or E. Well, we know the conditions for our X position. What are the conditions for our Y position? 
This first box is letting us know that the cross position needs to match with our x position. In other words, this first section needs to match our x first position, which is the capital R or the capital A. So we can have a capital R, a capital Q, or a white space. In this case, both of those, the x position and the y position, need to have a capital R. That's our first letter. Now this next one is saying that we can have either a capital N, a capital I, or a capital E. And because it's saying we can have one of those three letters, and our second grouping inside of our regular expression for the X position is letting us know that we need a capital A or a capital E, the only value that matches between those is the capital E. Now at this point, we already know that we have two other instances where whatever we found in this box is going to be repeated with that slash and one. Now the goal here is to continue to fill out this crossword to get an expression or a saying or some sort of a sentence that comes from Hamlet. These may not get more difficult as you go, but there are more puzzles that are out here that are specific to Hamlet. Let me go back to that main screen. Now as you can see, there's tutorial, beginner, intermediate, there's experience, there's all kinds of these different ones that you can go through. I do recommend going through and learning these over time, and the more that you use regular expressions, the more familiar you'll get with many of the different things that regular expressions can do, but these puzzles are designed to be a challenge. It's not a requirement for our course to go out and play around with this, but it definitely is something that I would recommend to everyone to get more familiar with how to use regular expressions, but also to become more familiar with how to use the regular expressions 101 website and to just play around with regular expressions in general. So if you have any questions on this content, please don't hesitate to ask.